Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Dark Tires. One War Master Edition. Well, we last left off when we about when we were about to enter to Twilight Cathedral, but I didn't. So we're going to do that now. Uh, I will show you some one thing, and that is, look at our souls. I had so much more, and I don't have any right now. Yep, I went through the last previous uh, previous episode myself on this character again, just to get some, a little bit more souls and buy some stuff full group. So I upgraded some of the attacks, like this one. It's now level three, so I am going to have some more powerful attacks that I can use. Yeah, yeah, watch her. And I also will go and buy stones here once I reach 2000. And after that, I will go for the, I think, for the empty uh, vessel. Because another consumable is always useful. The more consumables that I can use uh, for health, the better. Because that's the thing that I will go and use my health or my souls in the end game if I have everything. You just have eight, uh, what's it called, health files. Maybe it's just overkill, but I don't know why. It's not like I would, will use Chaos Form in many of the boss fights. It's more of an... I use it right here, right now thing. Like, and that's for short. Because Chaos Form is something I will forget. So... Yeah. Chaos Form is not something I would use myself. It's not an I it's not an ability that I often I get it will use prominent, prominently. I will only use it when it's really needed against a mini boss to kill it. So Because fighting with war is kind of better to fight bosses with. They have abilities that make more war even better to fight with. Than, than anyone else, uh, actually, than in Chaos Form, to be honest. Though Chaos Form can be quite useful. So, if you use it much more than me and you're using it to get, uh, you, you buy, I think, this is called Rage Meters or Rage things, so then it's your call, it's not mine. You can you can decide what you want for, the, for war. You can also go with uh, some wrath meters or what? Why do you say meters? No, um, wrath vessels, so that you can actually get all your wrath back and spam attacks. Don't know why, but I just like to, to, to combo everything to death. <laughs> and that was a home run. Oh. Home run! <laughs> oh, I like hitting home runs! Oh. <laughs> and. Home run! <laughs> oh, fuck me, hell. <laughs> I like it. Anyway, home run. Making a home run is just the best move you can ever make in the game. Come on. Ah. You bastard of a bastard. Just come close to me. I want to kill you. Okay. Home run. There we go. Oh, no you don't. Okay, I did this. So why the hell did I did not do this attack? Game, explain. You, go away. It is... Okay, there we go. Or there's some more coming to spawn? Oh no, there it is. <sighs> I 
I thought for a second I, I, I pressed the Y button on the, on the controller, but it doesn't seem to be that case. Wait, wait, wait. Just taking a look at the scythe. Hmm. Yeah, I think I, I really want to buy war scythe, or any war death scythe, scythe because it looks just much cooler than this one. Getting some health. I think you can hear the, um, what's it called, Tiamat just fighting the uh, Gervin. So over here there's another empty vessel that is already filled with wrath. Going to be pretty useful pretty soon. Oh no, great alive. Oh, did I already have the wrath one? No. Am I misremembering things? But yeah. Oh wait, no, no. Shit. I shouldn't have done that. Because Greater Light will, will restore all your health. So, I, gener I generally don't recommend it myself to put it on the, on the hotbar because I might use it by accident. I have that, that tendency to use these things when it's not needed. Oh, I think this is Horde Seeker. Nope, map. And I mixed it with another location. But that we need to get crossblade, we will get that pretty soon. I think we have to go down here. Or first the other side. And then down here what when we drop this statue. Oh, hello! The whole thing is busted open. Now let's drop this statue downstairs. That's one powerful king. Those are really some powerful, str powerful and strong legs. Because jump. <laughs> Okay, over here there should be another collectible in the air. Not in this part, but if we cross the corner, we would get one. We would see one in the air. Alright, skeletons! And down! Oh yeah! I completely forgot about that move! Oh, my favorite move is... Oh, oh yeah. Sorry if I was kind of really excited because no, no, not this one, but this move. I have used this so move so much in the nick of time. It's so good. Oh, oh there you can see the the, the collectible. <laughs> oh god, it's so good. Okay, let's get over here and. There we go. And we can grab it. Nope. Come on, guys. I know you can put up more of a fight. Oh well. Next time? I'm sure you will do well, guys. Is this part? Yeah, there's one part that is pretty, I would say, tedious. Because this makes sense. Speaking of the oh, hello! Yeah, these guys, I think. Come on! Whee! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, you cannot hit me, you cannot hit me, you cannot hit me. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> I'm spamming a move. My favorite move. Come, guys, you cannot hit me. <laughs> oh. Come on, guys. 
You can do better than this. Who <laughs> knew <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. There should be one more. Oh, <laughs> oh you cannot get to me. You cannot get to me. Oh, you cannot get to me. You cannot get to me. To me. You can <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love this move so much. I love this side. <laughs> this should be Heartseeker. No. Builder's key. Yeah. Those those keys are also in those chests. Uh, there's so many different items that you can get in these chests. Though they have all fixed locations. It's kind of always wondering which one you will get. Especially when I thought something else. I thought two times Horde Seeker. Oh, can I? Come on. Okay, I will kill you. And the other one is going to die by home run into the lava. Oh yeah, you guys. Oh, did I kill one of you? Oh, I did. <laughs> ah, bye. <laughs> oh, death by home run. I'm glad I already did that section. <laughs> Just to get some more souls. Oh, God. You guys are back! Come on, guys! Come on! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay, I, 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 will st I will stop spamming that move. That is just so good. I can't help it. I just can't. Yeah, yeah, and I know I lost a lot, bit of health because <laughs> of my own <laughs> neglectance of watching my own health, but it's just so fun. It's so fun to do. Oh god. Ah, oh, there's the sword. Oh, one of the more. Annoying and annoying, dangerous types. So we have at least some souls and some health. If we fight this, so I think I have my, I need my wrath ready to get to use Blade Geyser. Yes, it was foolish of us to come here. Uh, the one most annoying thing about this thing is if there's not one section that you have to fight two of these guys. And that can be quite difficult to do, to be honest. Come on. There we go. This section is, is the not as difficult section. It, it will learn how. It will make you learn how to fight these types of guys. You just just hit him with all you got. Just be aggressive as hell. And when he's about to swing, just move out of the way. That's all. You, that all there is to it. The only problem is if you have two of them. I think that's why I remember Blade Kaiser needing to be ready. Because Blade Kaiser can make quick work of those guys. They can get close to one another, or close to 
yeah, next to one another, and you can use blade cars on both of them at the same time. Don't spam it because they will fly away. So use it, wait, and then use it again, and that can do the trick. Hello! I have a sword! Read my sword! Okay, we will see another cutscene. And I don't need this one that the door is opening. <coughs> another one with Tiamat and the Griffin. I hope that's fighting and not making a lot. I don't got for I must hope that is the case. I think... Yeah. I think over here I will try... I will get the crossblade so I can actually... Get that sword that's underneath this creature. I think over here, there's, over here there's also some crystal. I think over there there should be a bomb. Is, he, is there fire over here? No, I think the bomb. This one still detonates on its own. Later ones will don't won't do that because of, I have the crossblade and I can just activate it myself. But we have to throw that bomb through here in quick succession and make it hit those red crystals. There is a chest over here, like you can see from the faint black glow emanating from the crystal. Alright, but once I step into the circle, I think the guys will spawn. Hmm, or was it only when I get the blade? Huh. Crap. It is a little bit off to the left. There we go. So I'm throwing a little bit more to the right because don't you see this cursor? Um Yeah, you need to th it's it has a little bit angle to the left for me. Don't know if it has it's the same for you guys, but it has it is for me. There we go, an, an extra health bar. This will help immensely in this section. Okay, this sword has to go over there. So what the? Oh yeah, now I remember. The guys will spawn, but I have to do this. I keep forgetting that I need to get the crossblade. Oh, I think I need to get. Now that you guys again. I thought I said you no! Crap! God damn it! Okay, uh, yeah, as a quick side note, don't dart to its left side, since you can still get hit by its attacks if you do so. Like, I, I have many times, unless he does the slam attack, that he will choreograph very immensely, so... But like this one, the sweep attacks, they will hit you even if you dodge from to the left. Come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. And now the rest of this will go easy. Yep, I was a little bit too focused on the, uh, the big dude. Because those enemies, those skeletons are just the most annoying part to be quite honest. The big guy isn't. But having Three of those skeletons just walking around, hitting you in the back. Yeah, I can take them out, but it's quite annoying to to, to get um, out of range of the attacks of the blue guy. There might be people who just fight the three skeletons first and then end it with the, the blue guy. I just kill the blue guy first. The skeletons don't do as much damage as the 
as the blue guy does. Do, do, this, do the blue guy actually has a name? Because that's something I don't know. Yeah, the skeletons I can call skeletons, the zombies I can call zombies, demons I can call demons, but those. What is a blue zombies? Skeleton? Zombie? I don't know. Might have to look up a wiki for that. But over there we have. I think. That chest over there that I'm pointing my crosshair right on is a pistol shard. Or a pistol armor shard. Over there, I think it's just, just the souls. And there's some chest up above this ledge as well. We cannot get to it yet. And if you look above here, there's another shard that we can collect. We have to go this way. <laughs> Artifacts. Oh, this Jimchin artifact. This talisman, uh, this talisman represents the elite class of the, art of the Legion's artifacts. Only six of these icons were granted to the overlords that commanded Hell's Legion. Return to Fulgrim and he will, he will reward you. So, that's one. Let's look at the roster. One champion artifact. Five skill. And we have only four soldiers. Let's go up. I think we can oversee over here that there's a chest. Yeah. I think that chest. Mm, I think that chest might contain Horde Seeker. Don't. Don't hold me on that. Because it might still be wrong. We could get it somewhere in this level. But I just think it's Horde Seeker. jump let's see can we get over there I think we can if we have the crossblade yeah we, we can actually throw a bum on to the guy and try to, to climb up and be fast enough to get to the door but we won't be fast enough that's the problem I don't know if I can hit it with my sword Actually, that's something I've never tried, so... Well, I can do that. I think that will also be the last thing I want to do for this episode, so that it won't run too long. Oh no, it's too high up. Okay, that was not the, the, the smartest idea. Oh well. I won't use my health. Or my greater health, because... Oh! Cr criminy! Ow! Jesus Christ, I didn't do a thing! Okay, so... Wait. <laughs> Oh, I have to go downstairs anyways. Let's rub this thing. And let's get the crossblade. Uh, I, I want to jump down there, but I want to kill, kill him as well. Maybe the best option. I want to jump. Whee! Let's see if you can jump down. Come on, come on, guy, come on. Oh, yeah, I remember that there are four guys that will spawn over here that will gang you. Because there's one guy over here, he will. Oh, I thought the one will run away, and then the rest will follow. Oh, there are five? Okay, that's something I always forget. They're not four, they're five. Though... Come on, get that, get the quick... There we go! I wanted to get that quick death. That instant kill. I'm 
quite skeptical. What should I do? What should I do? I can go and grab this chest over here. Or I can get my ability. Uh, my weapon. The crossblade. Because I can get my health back. But I know there is going to be a stinker. I don't think if it's the real name of those enemies. But I call it a stinker. That is coming as as some sort of last test over here. So I wanna keep it because if I kill the stinker that, that I might get hit by, I wanna go and get the health and get be completely uh, healed. Oh look at that, we have a crossblade. Oh, nice green. The cross array. <laughs> and find the crossblade. And finally craft a throwing blade that can be that can strike multiple targets. Enter A mode by pressing Yeah R R S circle D pad. And select up to five targets by holding LT. Press RT to throw the crossbow. Yeah, yeah. Come on, die. Die. Yeah, when I first got the crossblade after in playing in June, I just attacked these things with the crossblade. Not my smartest move, because no it's not saying you how to use it, you don't have to actually use it on these bastards. The bats? Yes, because those those are just too far away from comfort. I don't think I can make it. I, th I think I really have to... Yep, this is the dude. Stinky! I hate Stinky! Come on! I call it I can bullshit. Huh. Look at that. Got all my health back. <laughs> oh, I thought I could skip, skip this. But not. We have to see it again. Bloody hell. <laughs> that, that's what, oh, fucking hell. I should, I should take more care of my health. Skeletons. And now I can fight Stinky at, at full power. No more Mr. Low Health Guy. <laughs> Instant Kill Guy. <laughs> can we come up with more names? Uh, idiot. <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's just a really short insult. Than how I've been playing. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Taking off his hat. <laughs> oh, that's so gruesome. He farted himself to death. I think 
we are going to open this over here. And end the episode as well. Let's get this chest. True, I could let it stay, but I'm a person that doesn't want to have any chest in the world. At the end, I will have eight consumables with with uh, re a fully rechargeable health. All greater life. That's what what it's called, right? Greater life essence. I will have eight of those. <sighs> okay, so crossblades. It's on the menu. So I'm ready to end the episode. Like always, I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, don't forget to get your game on. Till next time.